The 1989 Ryder Cup was back on European soil. At the Belfry in Sutton Coldfield, England, Raymond Floyd, the captain of the Americans, against Tony Jacklin. And why change a good thing? The Europeans had won the last two Ryder Cups, Nick Faldo and Ian Woosnam taking a quick lead on Curtis Strange and Tom Kite. Strange, the reigning U.S. Open champion, for birdie at seven to cut that deficit to one. The Americans took the lead, only to have Woosnam square things at 14. And then the wee Welshman at 18 to have the match. Lenny Watkins for birdie at two, partnering with Payne Stewart. Watkins now at 17, with the chip for Eagle to take a one-up lead. Howard Clark, partnering with Mark James, had this for par at 18. Watkins and Stewart win one up, and the Americans have the lead after the morning, three and one. After lunch, the four ball would take center stage, and what a turnaround was in store for the Europeans. Another very familiar pairing began the fireworks. Sevi Ballesteros and Jose Maria Olathabo. This is Sevi's tee shot to the very short par four tenth. And this for Eagle to go two up against Tom Watson and Mark O'Meara. It wasn't a contest. Watson with the must have putt at 13. They lost to the Spaniards at six and five, and the Americans' lead is cut to three and two. Mark James already three up along with Howard Clark to the 16th. James and Clark beat Watkins and Fred Couples three and two to tie the matches at three. <laughs> Curtis Strange now for Eagle at 17. He and Paul Azinger facing Sam Torrance and Gordon Brand Jr. Yeah. The match is all square at 18. Azinger for birdie. Brand had the next birdie chance. He and Torrance win it, one up, and the Europeans take their first lead of the day. Faldo and Woosnam facing Calcavecchia and Mark McCumber. Faldo for par at 15 to go two up. And Woosnam with the chip at 18. He made the putt to win it two up, and the Europeans win all four afternoon four balls and take a 5-3 lead after day one of the 28th Ryder Cup. Foursomes were the order of the morning on day two at the Belfry. The Americans trying to cut into the deficit chip back with the putt at 15 to help Azinger beat Brandon Torrance four and three. But here comes Woosnam and Faldo again. Woosnam for birdie at 14 to go three up and Faldo at 16 to finish off Wadkins and Stewart, three and two. Ken Green teaming with Mark Calcavecchia for par at 16 to go three up on Ronan Rafferty and Christy O'Connor Jr. Rafferty now with the must make putt. Green and Calcavecchia win it three and two and once again, the Americans climbed to within a point. But the Spaniards were at it again in the afternoon. Olathabo for birdie at 13 to cut into Strange and Kite's lead. And now Seve at 18 for par and the victory. And the European lead going to the lunch break was seven to five. The afternoon four ball competition on Saturday at the Belfry saw the Americans desperately trying to climb back. Mark McCumber with the birdie putt at 11 to go three up and partner with Tom Kite for a 2-1 win over Longer and Canizares. Seve and Jose Maria once again taking charge. Seve for birdie at nine. 
Seve with the chip at 10, facing Kalkovecchia and Ken Green. Now Green with the putt at the 10th. He and Kalkovecchia went down four and eventually would lose four and two, and it was now 8-6 Europe. Faldo with Woosnam again. Faldo for birdie at 14 against Beck and Azinger. But Azinger had a birdie putt of his own to match Faldo and have the hole. They would go on to win two and one to cut the European lead to once again eight to seven, just a one point deficit. Payne Stewart now at the 10th to win the hole. That would put he and Strange down one. They would lose by that same margin to Clark and James. The Europeans had a nine to eight lead early on Sunday in the singles competition, and it would be a roller coaster for the Americans. After Tom Kite opened with a thunderous eight and seven win over Howard Clark, he was nine eight Europe, Chip Beck with the pitch at 17 against Bernhard Langer. Beck would win it three and one, and the race for the cup was tied at nine. In the third match of the day, Seve down one to Azinger going to 18. After putting it in the water, lost the match. And suddenly, for the first time since early on Friday, the Americans had the lead 10 to nine. But it would not last long. Mark James putted 16 for a three and two win over Mark O'Meara. Tie ball game, 10-10. It got soggy again on 18 when Payne Stewart put on the rain gear and went ankle deep. When he couldn't advance it the first time, he would try once more. But it was a futile effort, and he would eventually concede his match to Olathebel. He would not be the lone American with trouble in the water at 18. Mark Kalkovecki had found it in the very next match, and the Europeans had extended their lead. The Irishman Christy O'Connor Jr. with the shot to 18 in his match with Fred Couples. Couples' second shot at 18 would flare right, and it would cost him. Europeans leading by two at this stage. Couples could not get up and down for par and wound up losing one down. Europe's lead, 13 to 11 after Tom Watson won three and one over Sam Torrance, but it came down to this. Kenny Green with a five footer for par in his match with Canizares. And now, Jose Maria Canizares to win his match and retain the Ryder Cup for the Europeans. The U.S. would win the final three matches that day for an official half, but because of the tie, the Cup returned to the Europeans.